Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. So in this entire video, I'll be discussing on the career path of one of my students who had consulted me. So we'll try to understand about that student and we'll try to see how we can plan his uh, life in a better way. Okay, when I say life in a better way, it's from his career point of view. Yeah, so the name of the student is Pramod. He, the age of the student is 22. Uh, he completed his B uh, in civil engineering in 2023. Uh, from Dayanand Sagar College. It's a very good college in Bangalore. Then after that, once he finished his B.Tech or B in 2023, after that, uh, right now he's working in Bangalore since 2023 June till today. Today it's uh, June, uh, I think June uh, 10th. Let me check. Yeah, today is the 10th of June. Since one year, almost since one year, he's been working in Bangalore. So what the salary, what he's getting is 17K per month. Okay, so what job he's doing is uh, working as an interior designing in the interior designing where he has to do certain uh, interior elevations and interior drawings and all. And there will be frequent uh, visits to the site and you know, wherever the interior works are going on. No, he has to go there. He has to check. He has to do the measurements of all those things. Uh, so this is what he's doing currently for the past one year. Uh, one question may come in your mind. Why is that the salary is low? So usually when you join a small consultancy and all, no people will not pay you like 30, 35,000 and all. They will initially start with like 15, 18, 20,000. And after that, once you gain the skills, when you work there for one or two years, then you don't to switch to a bigger company and all. Okay. So initially in the civil engineering field, uh, this is how it happens because small company, when you're going and working there, they don't pay you too much. Like you cannot compare your life with IT people. Uh, it's not that in all the case, but uh, 50 to 60 percent of the case in civil engineering, uh, people are paid in the range of 20, 25, 30. That is the reality of civil engineering. Yeah. Now, what are his future plans? So he told me that he want to start his own construction business. The reason is that his dad is already working in a construction business. So he has his support. His dad has told him that you learn all these things for two, uh, some, for some year and then you can come back to the place where his dad is working and then they together can run that particular con construction business. Okay, next. Next is that, uh, what is the problems in front of him? The problem in front of him is that first is that he doesn't have any site knowledge. Since he's a fresher, I mean, he was a fresher, he directly got into the interior designing uh, job. So there you are not working on the uh, this thing. What is that site job? Like, uh, footing, column, beam, all those, uh, the superstructure part is, uh, superstructure, the concrete part is not doing. The interior part he is doing for the past one year, where he's doing the designing, is going to the site, the site visits and all. So the first thing is that he doesn't have any good site knowledge. The second thing is that he consulted me for the Revit course, like uh, he had downloaded my Civil Brains app and he told that he want to learn Revit course. So I told him not to start with the Revit course. So the suggestions what I've given is with him is that, Right now, whatever job he's doing, let him continue with the job. Okay, because he's getting one salary of 17K per month. And financially, he's not, I mean, financially is okay because his parents are doing pretty good. So even there is a shortfall of money every month, uh, it's okay because their parent can send their parents can send some money to him. So financially is, is not a problem with him. Okay. Second is that I told him, uh, since he doesn't have a knowledge in the construction, he doesn't know how the site execution is done. He doesn't know how to read the structural drawings. He doesn't know to do the estimation BOQ and all. Because tomorrow, when you start your own construction, you should know all these things. You should know site execution, right? If you don't know site execution, you cannot go and look into the site work. You should know to read the structural drawings and all. You should know to do the estimations and all. You should have a basic understanding of the code book. So these are the things which he is not having right now. And in the present job, he's not going to learn all these things because he's into the interior part. So interior part, obviously, he'll be not working on the site, going to the site, like the concrete work, what we're doing, the superstructure and all. RCC work is not going to look into. Obviously, he's not doing the estimation part and all. So that, and also, since he's working in the interior, he'll be referring all the interior drawings only, like the uh, interior drawings, like the false ceiling, all those drawings and all, he'll be referring. But he'll not be referring any uh, footing drawing, column, beam, slab and all. So in the present job, he's not going to get all this knowledge, right? So that is why I had suggested him to enroll in a six-in-one combo course, where he's going to learn all these things for the, almost a 200 hours lecture it is there. He's going to learn that. And then I told him, you work in the company for the next same, for the next six months. For example, uh, today, I mean, the I mean, today is June, uh, June 10. So I told him, you enroll in my course, Okay, and you watch my course for the next, let us say, three months. I want at least three months to make you understand how the site execution is done, uh, how to read the structural drawing, 
how to do the estimation, BOQ and all. I require at least three months. I cannot make your engineer uh, in uh, next 15, 20 days and also three months I need. Along with that, I told him to continue in the present job for the next six months, like June, July, August, September, October, November and December, right? So roughly we have like, yeah, June, July, August, September, October, November. Roughly we have another seven months. So let him concentrate in his pre uh, present job for the next seven months. And in that parallelly, let him enroll in my course and learn all these things. After seven months, that is, let us say next year, I'll write it here. Let me do it here. Next year, in the month of Jan 2025, let him change the company because he has to change the company because once he has worked here for almost one and a half year, he has that much knowledge how the interior works will be happening. He has the knowledge to prepare the trade elevations, the interior drawings and all. He has that much knowledge in one and a half year. That is sufficient. Again, if he stay there, what will happen? He will not learn entire big building execution. So I told him from next year, 2025, you drop this particular job and start to work under someone who is uh, doing a consultancy work and all. Like uh, consultancy work in the sense, there's a one engineer who does the AutoCAD plan. He does the 3D elevations for that. Then he'll do the estimation also. He'll go to the site visits also. So entire thing from start to the end, uh, there are uh, consultancy who does each and everything of the building especially the house building, small commercial buildings like G plus 3, G plus 4, G plus 5. So you find such job. In Bangalore, easily you'll get a lot of consultancy. You go and work under them. So once you work there for two to three years, the advantage is that, and how you're going to crack the interview, whatever knowledge is required about the site execution, estimation, drawing ready, that will be covered from my job. Interior knowledge already is going to get from his present job. So when you go and face the interview, definitely he'll have that much knowledge that he can clear the interview. And then where, when he works there for at least two to three years, he can handle the project completely right from, uh, he can prepare the AutoCAD plan, he can do the submission drawings, then he can do the 3D elevations, and then he can go to the site, he can understand how the site works are done. You also get to know about a lot of things about the interiors and all. So once he works there for two to three years, and if he finishes four to five projects, then definitely that much confidence he'll be having. And after that, he can leave the job. Right now his age is 22. Now let me consider for another four years he is going to work. Right now he is 22. And let us say for another four years he is going to work. So I am taking another three years extra time. Let him work for another one more year. Three years let him work. So by the age of 26 years, he will be having roughly four years of experience. Okay. And after that if he come back to his place where his dad is running the business, he can work under him and there he can start to uh, do his individual practice. So because once you want to start your individual practice, you should know AutoCAD, which is already known in the past, uh, since he's working here for four years. 3ds Max is already knowing interior knowledge he has, site execution knowledge he'll get when he start to work in a new job in from, from January 2025. And whatever basic knowledge is required for him to go and do the site visits and all. From my course and from his experience, he's going to gain. And if he has this much knowledge, and in the next four years, if he works on at least four to five projects, a small G plus one building, G plus three building, G plus five building, that much is sufficient. You can start practicing on your own. So this was the entire, uh, you know, uh, career planning, what I've given to him. And I told him to enroll in my six in one combo course. Uh, so far, yeah, so far he hasn't uh, enrolled in the course. Uh, maybe uh, he told once he gets a salary, he'll uh, enroll in the course. Okay. Uh, I mean, salary in the sense, maybe uh, like month salary, I'm speaking. Okay. Then I told him to enroll in the six in one combo course. Other than that, I have other courses, but I didn't suggest him the 6,000 rupee course and all because it is not required. Because in this course, what happens, there are many things which he is not going to use in his life. For example, see, you should understand such things. You, sh you should un understand few things. You don't have to learn everything. Whichever is required, you have to learn. For example, if I enroll in my 6,000 rupee course, I'll, I'll be happy because I'll get 6,000 rupees. But what will happen in his life? No. He is going to learn, he is going to, like there is a course on building injury, which is never required for him. Then there is a course on uh, this thing, project planning course, which is not required because when you're starting your own consultancy, project planning and all is not required. There is a course, MS Excel is required at any cost. There's a course on MS project, you'll never use it. If you're starting your own consultancy, MS project is not required. If you're working in good companies, if you want to become a planning engineer, then MSP is required. He doesn't require Primavera. Uh, AutoCAD, anyhow, he, he knows that. So from my course, it may not be a much benefit to him. Revit, anyhow, I'll suggest him in later. Instead of buying the combo course, I'll suggest him one individual course later so that 
uh, he can pay another 600 or 800 and he can easily take a revit course individual revit course let him take he don't have to spend 6000 rupees here and in future if you want to learn the structure designing and all then i'll suggest some other course uh, where i know uh, certain people will train you on the structure designing part and i'll suggest to him all those things but right now all these things is not required right now only six in one combo course is sufficient the reason being right now he require uh, site execution knowledge which will be covered in my site execution course for almost 45 hours advanced site engineer also will be a 15 hours so from this entire from this two course you'll get the complete construction knowledge which people will take one to two years to learn which you can learn from my course then you'll learn to read all the structural drawing like footing column beam slab staircase from my drawing reading course it is a 30 hours lecture People, those who take four, four years to learn all these things that is covered in my course. He learned the estimation, he learned the BBS, and then he learned to how to prepare the BOQ and all. And after that, there is one interview mastery course, which will help, which will help him to certain extent if you want to clear any interviews and all. Concrete technology is a good, good course where he learn, where he learn about the concrete technology and all. MS Excel is sufficient. There's a course by name Professional Building Engineering, which he doesn't have to watch. Since it's a combo course, he's going to get it, but he don't have to watch this particular course. Okay, that's it. So other than that, there is no other course and he's going to get it at a less, lesser price. Like this will cost you 3,000. So this is sufficient. 6,000, there are a lot of content, which is not going to use. So unnecessary is going to waste his 3,000 rupees. So that is the reason I've suggested him. You just enroll in this course. And uh, since if he doesn't have complete money, like, uh, See, it's a, it will cost you 3,000 rupees. You can pay this in installment also. Okay. Like you can, uh, let us say today, if you're buying my course, pay 1,500 rupees today. After one month, you pay another 750. After another month, you pay 750. The reason is since he's already working, is I'm getting a salary of 17,000. He can easily spend 1,500, 750, 750 every month and upgrade his knowledge, right? See, one thing I'll tell you to everyone, you have to upskill your knowledge and you have to spend some money to upskill your knowledge because you see, see on your birthday you spend money uh you you spend money on uh, clothes you spend money on watches you spend money on uh mobiles and all but what is the result you're going to get you're not going to earn from that but if you enroll in certain course i'm not telling to enroll in my course you enroll in any course but if you invest in your learnings if you invest in upskilling definitely your chance of getting clear in the interview will be will increase and definitely will be one step ahead of other people. So that is why always you have to upskill in your life so that you will have a wonderful knowledge and everything you cannot learn on your own. So that is why you need to learn from someone who has already done in the industry and you upskill your knowledge to that, right? So this was my entire career planning to that guy. And maybe once I enroll in my course, I don't have his number now. I uh, will see, I'll do a review a video of this so that we'll see what it is, what he is doing presently after, let us say three or four months, whatever suggestion I've given, how much effective was that suggestion? What he is doing in his life? We'll try to uh, make a video on that after some time. So if you really like my uh, video, don't subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of videos in my channel. Go and watch those all videos. You'll have a good knowledge. Then if you feel I'm the right person to guide you, you can subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if you want to enroll in the, my courses, if you want to upgrade your knowledge and all, you're always welcome. You can uh, take the courses. You have, if you're a fresher, I would suggest you go in six in one combo. But if you're someone who wants to work in good companies and all, you want to work as a planning engineer, or if you want to work in good MNC and all, then uh, this construction management master will help you. If you're someone who wants to become a structural engineer, I would say this course is basic. Everyone has to buy. If you want to start your own consultancy and all, then my uh, ETAPS plus safe RCDC course is there. You can enroll in this. Okay. If someone wants to learn AutoCAD and Revit, then you can go with my six week challenge course, which will cost you 4,000 rupees. So these are the different courses what I have. If you don't have that much money, you can always start with my site engineer course, where I'll teach you the complete site execution part here. And uh, whichever course you take, there's an EMI option because I have seen most of them students are in final year of engineering or most of them are freshers. You will not be having money. No issues. I'm giving you a EMI option where you can make the money, make the payment in installment for every month. You can do that. Okay. That's how it is. So I hope uh, I've given a insightful uh, view on the entire career planning to him. And uh, in future, I'll be bringing a lot of videos where I'll be speaking uh, with a lot of students. We'll see what are the problems they're going through and we'll give a suggestion to that. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.